Okay, we are back at the UK Brewers' Cup Championship 2022. And we have our reigning champion on stage, talking to himself, ready to do his thing, I'm sure. So without further ado, we're going to bring on our judges who are going to wander through here, make themselves comfortable. And I'm going to hand over when they're here to our next competitor of the day, Matteo D'Ottavio. Um, can we do a quick little sound check, please? The judge is comfortable? Oh, good? Perfect. I think, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, let's start from the beginning. All right. Time, my dear guest, buongiorno. It's a pleasure to have you here with me today to share with you a truly exceptional cup of coffee. A natural fermented Gesha varietal produced by Pocho Gallardo at Finca Nuguo. The farm is located at 1950 meters above sea level in the Chiriqui region of Panama, in a natural rainforest reserve. Pocho's processing consists of placing the beans in silt tanks five days at control temperature and then it dries them slowly for eight weeks so that he can capture more of the fruity and sweet characteristic of his geisha. Pocho made me feel so connected with this coffee and today my mission is to make you feel the same connection. And this is what customer experience is all about, being able to connect the guest with the coffee they're about to taste and to close the gap between the producer and the consumer. As a brewer, I believe that it's my responsibility to find the best way to brew this delicious cup of coffee in order to create this connection and to highlight the flavors and the characteristics that the producer creates at his farm. So let's start with the roasting. We developed a light roast profile and we roasted this coffee three days ago for five minutes with a development ratio of 9%. Then I pre ground the coffee 30 minutes ago to increase its solubility. And I selected a particle size distribution between 400 and 1400 microns with a distribution peak at 1000 microns. This will give you an amazing acidity that you will experience today as a medium to high intensity, vibrant like pineapple when the cup is hot. And as it cools down, keep them medium high intensity and become more juicy like raspberries. The water I'm using today has 120 ppm and a ratio of 3 to 1 between hardness to alkalinity for a better mouthfeel. And this will give to your coffee a body with a medium to high intensity creamy texture when the cup is hot and as it cools down medium to high intensity with a juicy texture. The brewer I'm using today is this flat bottom brewer that I've created together with Orea. And this uh, dripper is made of polycarbonate. This material has a very low heat absorbance, allowing me to extract more solutes from the coffee using less water. So that I can create for you a balanced cup with a high intensity of aromatic and flavor characteristic of Pocha's Geisha. So today I'm brewing uh, 15 grams of water, uh, coffee, sorry, with 220 grams of water at 96 degrees Celsius for a total brew time of two minutes and 40 seconds. Now, we will start with the brewing. First pour is a 40 grams of water. Then I swirl and I wait for 40 seconds to fully saturate the coffee bed before starting my second pour. Then my following three pours are 
60 grams of water every 40 seconds. This interval between pours allows the water to fully drain completely the coffee bed so that I can use its full power of extraction. This allows me to extract all the beautiful attributes that you will experience today. And you will start with the aroma. So you will experience the notes of strawberries, papaya, jasmine, and brown sugar. When the cup is hot, you will experience flavors of ripe strawberries, papaya, and sweet melon. When the cup is warm, you will experience ripe pear, orange, and pineapple. And finally, when the cup is cold, red grapes, fresh lemonade, and chocolate and mint, like after eight. The finish is long lasting and sweet like chocolate ganache from hot to cold. And as it cools down, also become fresh like mint. When we think of experiencing coffee, we usually consider only the smell for the aroma and the taste for the flavors and the other attributes. But we live in a multi-sensory world, and in order to create a stronger connection with the coffee, we have to use all our senses, which for me are very important to elevate the customer experience. It has been proven that there is a direct connection between the ear and the nose, so I choose a music that will enhance the perception of sweet notes when you will assess the aroma. Sight is also a very important sense, so I'm using transparent vessels to highlight the vibrant ruby color of the coffee, and this will give you a more intense fruit, fruity aromatics. Now, while focused on the sound and the color of the coffee, I would like you to assess the aroma from the carafe. Please, hold it from the neck, swivel for a couple of seconds, and enjoy the beautiful, sweet aroma of Nuguo. Thank you. Please enjoy. Thanks. Enjoy, Josh. Together with hearing a sight, we shouldn't forget about touch, because the haptic properties of a drinking vessel, it will set our expectation of what we're about to taste. And depending on vessel shape, weight, and texture, our brain is wired to influence our perception. And for this reason, I choose the Orea Sense glass. And I would like you to hold the glass like this while drinking, because the warm feeling in your hands and the smooth texture of the rim of the glass on your lips it will give you more perception of the body and the aftertaste of the coffee. Now, to experience the best acidity, I have chosen this specific spoon that you can take with you backstage. The lightweight 
and the cool temperature of the spoon, it will highlight the vibrancy and the fruitiness of the acidity at all temperatures. So please, use the spoon only when you assess the acidity, and for the other attributes, please drink directly from the glass. By connecting with the flavors that Pocho created and shared with me, today I am able to share with you the best cup of coffee I have ever tasted. It's a pleasure for me to make you feel this connection and to elevate your experience by using all of your senses in order to bring you back to where this coffee comes from, to Finca Nuguo. And finally, close the gap between the producer and the consumer. Thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure to serve you today. Now please, enjoy. Sarah for Matteo. Come around, my friends. So, Matt, sorry. Okay. Hello to everyone watching on the live stream. I hope you're having a very nice time. I've been told to give a shout out to Josephine, who is watching along from Ireland. Hey, Josephine. Hello to everyone watching. And we're going to have a chat to Matteo. Come around, my friend. 